Hello guys, so this week I've got a little blank here, um, I think it's sycamore, and we're going to use some colour. We'll make it into a simple vase and use some Hampshire Sheen intrinsic colour for Martins, which I bought at the Maker Central event recently. I'm not one for colour, so I've no idea how this is going to turn out. Hopefully you'll stick with me and we'll find out together. So we've got our basic shape, very simple, very quick, just going to sand that, this down and colour it now. Here are the colours that I'm going to be using, stone blue, plum, midnight blue and a base colour of black. So the black will go on first, it will be completely sanded off, just leaving the black in the grain. And then we'll start with the lightest colour, which is a stone blue. Go through to the plum, a midnight blue, last of all, as that's the darkest. So all these colours are from the intrinsic range, or the intrinsic colour collection from Hampshire Sheen. This is just the, um, well it's just like a sample pack really, uh, but I want to try it out because I'm not one for using colour. But we're going to give it a go today. So we're going to give this whole piece a base coat of this black. There it is, all coloured black, base coat on. So I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to sand it back. So here's the lightest colour I'm going to use here, which is a stone blue from the Intrinsic Colour Collection. And I'm going to work on the top. Next colour I'm going to use is the plum. Then with a the midnight blue, we're going to do the base. I just noticed the white balance was down, so I've rejigged the camera see much better colours now. So we're going to put some Danish oil on as recommended and then come back once that's cured. So here we are with the finished piece, it's looking good so far, it's got one coat of Danish oil, I've wiped off the excess and I'll be waiting approximately 24 hours so when I come home from work tomorrow evening I shall put the wax on the outside. Okay using some acrylic sanding sealer Uh, dry off for a bit and I'll put another coat on. 
the original tin no less. So I've got a coat of uh, amateur sheen on now, original. I'm just about to buff it off. Once I buff that off, I shall probably put a coat of micro crystalline wax on. Um, again, from the Hampshire Sheen range. And uh, I'll come back once we've buffed up the outside. I've turned the headstock around a little bit, just angled it out, uh, just to make it easier to hollow out in a minute. I'm just going to take off this edge, uh, this, this, this corner, um, just clean that up a little bit, and then we're going to get down to the hollowing. So this was sanded to 240 and finished with Hampshire Sheen Original and Microcrystalline Wax over the top.
well, me doing calorie, who'd have thought it? It was quite fun. Uh, the reason why I enjoyed this video is not because it came out as a fantastic success of blending and uh, colour wizardry, rather than actually I got to see where I could have blended it better, I could have taken more time, I saw what to do, so I learnt a lot during this process. So here it is. It's approximately five inches tall, four inches in diameter, it is five or six millimetre thick, and it came out all right, really. As I say, I could see where I need to learn how to blend the colours much better. Um, but yeah, it's come out well. So, uh, so you may see me use these again. So until next time, take care, guys. Ooh.